good show. It's a really good show. And uh, it was 11 years ago this week that a 21-year-old young man named Matthew Shepard was murdered for being gay. And since then, his mother has dedicated her life to ending hate. She has a new book, and it is called The Meaning of Matthew. And uh, she is here to talk about it. I, uh, she's an amazing, remarkable woman. Judy Shepard is here. ago this week, people everywhere, including me, were shocked and saddened by the murder of Matthew Shepard, who was killed because he was gay. Since then, our next guest has worked tirelessly to promote equality and acceptance and has written a book, and it is called The Meaning of Matthew. Please welcome Matthew's mother, Judy Shepard. I'm so happy to have you here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Totally. Thanks so much. Uh, thank, thank you. Um, it is, uh, I'm sure, very difficult, but please remind uh, people, if they had not heard the story, what happened to Matthew? Um, well, in uh, October, of October of 1998, Matthew accepted a ride from a couple of young men who proceeded to uh, rob him and then beat him. They tied him to a fence outside of Laramie, Wyoming, and uh, left him there to die. He was found 18 hours later, and he passed away four days later. Um, it was a story that, I mean, I, um, it's, it's still hard for me. It's hard for me, too. It's still hard. Um, because it was right after I came out. And I thought, people... Yeah, I, I want to share with you that Matt was so proud of you when you did. He called me and said, Mom, you can't believe it's happening. It's um, well, it, it's one of the reasons I believe in doing it is just we, we need more examples. We need more people to go, well, they seem okay and they're happy and they found love and they're successful. Right. And, and it was just devastating when I heard about it. Um, so Matthew was left uh, tied to a, f a fence post uh, in freezing temperature and, and someone found him the next morning, a sheriff, I think. And in your book, uh, I think we all find out for the first time that he was not alone that night while yeah. he was dying. Tell people what happened. When, uh, when Officer Flutie, Reggie Flutie, arrived at the scene to uh, a mountain biker had actually found him. He'd fallen and found Matt tied to the fence and the, called 911. And when she arrived on the scene, she saw that there had been a doe, uh, a female deer, sitting um, in the bushes off to the side. She'd been nesting there apparently through the night uh, next to Matt. And when she drove up, the doe ran off. So it, it really made us feel better that maybe Matt wasn't alone all that horrible night. Amazing, amazing. Um, and uh, we met shortly after that. There was there were all kinds of things going on, uh, trying to raise awareness of these hate crimes that were happening. Right. And uh, it's been 11 years, and you have been. Uh, this changed your life. I mean, you didn't do this before. You were close with your son. Right. He was a good friend to you, but uh, this all of a sudden changed. Uh, well, yeah, he's. You know, I became sort of the a spokeswoman for the cause. We thought people would recognize Matt's name and hear what we had to say and listen to us. Maybe we could change hearts and minds. And, and I think that you have. And I think you have stories of how, from 11 years ago, you starting to speak. What, what some examples of, of uh, acceptance well, now? I started speaking at colleges, and I would see uh, young people afterwards who were, their eyes and were so filled with fear and, and trepidation for their future. Now when I meet those kids, they're just so empowered and, and they know what they're being denied and they know how to get it. It's, it's just so encouraging. It's changed so much at the grassroots level. And, and uh, I hear that uh, a, a story about a, a young man trying to tell oh, his mother. Yeah, this is the best story. It just shows you how far we've come. Um, he was out in college but not out at home and he decided one weekend he was going to drive home. So he drove to his folks' house, he pulled in the driveway, left the car running. Uh, went inside. His mom was on the sofa knitting or something, and his dad was downstairs. He came in the house. He said, Mom, there's something I have to tell you. And she said, what would that be? And he said, I'm gay. And she stopped knitting, and she yelled down the stairs, I win the bet. <laughs> I love that story. I love that story. Um, uh, I 
am wearing uh, one of these uh, Erase Hate uh, bracelets. Tell everybody what this is and what we're doing to try to, uh, to help spread the word. Well, it's part of the wristband craze, I guess. Um, it's the MatthewShepard.org website on one side and the other side says Erase Hate. Um, it's in the foundation colors, which is purple, the Matthew Shepard Foundation. And we've, uh, we've distributed over 100,000 of these wristbands across the country and actually uh, all over the world. People send in internationally and ask for them. Uh, and it's just to remind people that we can make a conscious decision to erase hate. Um, and the world would be a much better place if we could do that. It sure would. Sure would. Some very exciting news that, uh, uh, and go to our website if you're interested also in, in the bracelet and, and helping the Matthew Shepard Foundation. But we have some exciting news that really just happened right before you walked out here. Right. So we'll tell everybody when we come back. talking about her new book, The Meaning of Matthew, and uh, w one of the things we were trying to do after Matthew was, was killed was to try to pass a hate crime uh, law, and basically there are a lot of states that don't have hate crime laws or didn't. Um, explain the difference. I think people don't understand a crime is a crime, but it's not. A hate crime is different right. in the way that... Well, the, the, uh, the intention of the hate crime is to, is to put fear into the heart of the community, not just the victim or the victim's family, but um, to to scare the entire community or try to bring them in line with whatever uh, the hater thinks they should be doing or shouldn't be doing. Right. So, it, 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 well, there are a lot of hate crimes, as we, we hear right. about all the time. So, we, you have been trying, to, you know, to, to get this attention and tell people we just found out right before you walked out. Yeah, we just found out that um, the uh, part of the bill that will increase existing hate crime laws and now protect sexual orientation, uh, gender, disability, uh, has been passed on the House floor and will be going to the Senate. Great. It's really great. This is the best we can, this is the farthest we've come. Yeah. It, it really is, because yeah. when we were standing on the steps in Washington after this happened, trying yeah. to get Wyoming, uh, you know, and up until today, 11 years later, Wyoming did not have, still doesn't. Did, did not pass it. No. Nope, Unbelievable doesn't. after this. Um, so we are trying to make this a federal law uh, right. everywhere, which, I mean, hate is just, it's, uh, there's no, no, there's no excuse for it, for, no. with anything. Um, so uh, the book is called Meaning of, of Matthew, a portion of the proceeds go to the uh, Matthew Shepard Foundation. It's in bookstores now. Now, uh, everybody audience is also getting a copy. Um, I want to thank Jason Bateman, Toby Keith, Judy Shepard. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. We leave you today with some images of uh, Matthew.